Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Woken up by the pheasants, by a little tag on our tent flapping around in the breeze. So up at five, pack away, get things in the car, at it again, first thing in the morning. I don't know what I do, I just throw things in the water. <laughs> Fishing. Don't get distracted by the no. camera this time, please. Don't Prioritize get, the fish. Don't get distracted by the, by the videographer <laughs> failing to do her job. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a lovely day. Let me go first. Welcome to Amalfi, Italy. Can you multitask? I'm holding something and I'm moving my legs. But the view from up here. It is blue, it's sunny, it's not warm, <laughs> absolutely freezing. So we gave up on fishing for now. And we have, I guess you could say, tonkotsu ramen. Yeah. We've got our barbecued pork from last night. We've got some instant chicken noodles. I tell you what, it's delicious. The, the char from the pork has just like really infused the chicken broth. So broth, instant powder, liquid. But it's tasty. But the day's not over. Let's see if we can get some more fishing. It's different fishing to be continued. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another attempt at fishing. This time though, we go with the experts and we're in Tenby and we're getting on the Triton at some point soon, hopefully, because it's pretty chilly at the moment. fishing for today then? Huh? For dinner. What are you gonna make? In and on and. In and on and. Yeah. 
Fresh fish at last, and we are exhausted. That means simple but good food. Inan Unan, fish cooked in vinegar. And now it's kind of like pickled fish, I guess. I mean, it's in vinegar, pickled fish, but it's not got that kind of strong overpowering flavor and it's more just a delicate flavor. But it is pickled in the sense that you can leave it in your crock pot for a week out of the fridge and it'll be absolutely fine. And the vinegar, it just makes the bones softer. So for me, that's perfect because I have an intolerance for bones. I can't stand the things. And all you need, your fish, ginger, chili, garlic, onion. Normally, Chinese eggplant will go of American, or Western, whatever, and globe, whatever you call it. These are just a bit more bitter because they have more seeds, but we're accustomed to that. And then traditionally, okra. Very simple. And contrary to myths that get perpetuated, you don't even need to saute anything. Chuck it all in the pot, bring it to a simmer, cook 15 minutes, done. Liquid-wise, two parts vinegar, one part water. That's it. Maybe some peppercorns. Squeamish part to some. I'll spare you the details. But rest assured, it's not pretty. But I spent a number of years as a fishmonger, so this kind of thing. This kind of smell. Yeah, it's all right. It's just food at the end of the day. And voila, straight from the supermarket. You'd never know the difference. Literally a case of Filipino food, so head to tail. Chop them into pieces. One part water. Two parts vinegar. Onto the hob. Whole peppercorns, bring to the boil, cover, simmer, done. So there you have it, in an unan, fish cooked in vinegar, as simple as it is tasty. It doesn't look good, but let's not judge. Well, you know what they say about making plans. We were so tired, didn't bother eating, thought, hey, tomorrow, check the rotor, nine days straight at work. So nine days later, Back to that point I made. You can make this one in advance, like a week and a half, two weeks in advance. Let's see. No more videos. You know not to follow my advice. Now for fish cooked in vinegar, it's really not what you think. I'm like, as an English person, it he was really familiar. I mean, I'm thinking kind of um, roll mop herring, that kind of thing. Like it's not pungent in its vinegar. It's not pungent in a fishiness. It's just something. It doesn't taste like pickled fish. It just tastes like mackerel, with a bit of a tang, 
a lot of space. But as you can see, the bones become very soft. That's not so I'm eating them though. I'm not a maniac. But the fish itself, nine days, maybe 10 days. Online it says two days. At home, I don't use a food thermometer, so. Just do what you feel is right. Anyway, that's been a grueling week. Good food nonetheless. Time to plan the next trip. Straight after that, we are heading up to Scotland. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you next time.